Welcome to Technology Video Channel. Instructional video is made complete and easy to follow. I'm James Dean and in this video we're going to show you how to install and configure a LAMP server. Now LAMP server stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, it's used a lot of times to prepare for an application for example like OwnCloud that requires a web-based front end uh, MySQL to store all the data and then PHP for the scripting language that it uses that it's written in and uh, so you'll see that out there a lot of times and which which you may have already seen I need a LAMP server and that's why you're here so that's great now listen we did do another uh, video CentOS 6.5 step-by-step install and configuration you can find that on our channel and I'll put the link for it in the show notes that is a minimal install um, in preparation for an application server. Um, we didn't do the LAMP server along with that because sometimes you might want a prep for an application that only requires um, an Apache server, for example, or it may require nothing, just the application to be installed. So that's a nice, clean uh, video on just creating CentOS 6.5 installing and configuration update the OS and all that so it's a pretty cool video you check that out and then you could come back to this one and install the LAMP server so let's get started um, actually I'll show you right here update OS and packages is what we're gonna do first install and configure Apache web server install and configure MySQL install and configure PHP so when you boot up you're gonna have to log in as root okay first command is yum update and then minus y will just say yes for you if there are any packages or the operating system needs to be updated I believe mine's all set because um, I've recently done it but yours might come up and say that it found a few packages just go ahead and it's going to install them and then you can type in the word reboot and restart and it, you'll have a nice fresh uh, boot up and you'll be right where we are all right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is install uh, the web server, the Apache web server, and that's the command right there. Yum install HTTPD, and then the minus Y. It's going to go out, find the packages, download them, and install them, and it's pretty fast. That's it. So it's already installed. Now there's two things we need to do: service httpd start that starts the web server and then the other one check config httpd on that's going to make it so that the web server starts automatically when we reboot so that's pretty important you want to have that in there and then now we're just going to test it so if you bring up your web browser and you go to this is my address here but let me just I'll go to Google just show you okay so that's Google so if I go there you go so that's the test page that comes up the Apache web server test page so our web server is all up and running and the next one we're gonna do This one's a little bit bigger install. This is MySQL, and that's the command there. Yum install MySQL space MySQL spe uh, dash server, and then the Y so that uh, we don't have to say yes. It'll just go out and do it. It's going to download all the packages, install it pretty fast. And once that's done, we're going to do the same thing service. MySQL D start. Okay, and that starts SQL. All right, and then um, okay, so that's the command to automatically start SQL when the server reboots. 
Um, we have one more thing you have to do at SQL and run this script, and here's the command for it. Okay. Now the default password for root for SQL, which is separate from the operating system, the username is root as well, and then the password is blank. So we're just going to press enter here and say yes to reset the password. You'll need that when you install your application, and part of the instructions will be to create a database and maybe a user. You'll need the root username and password. Remove anonymous users, yes. Disallow remote login. That's a pretty good security measure to remove remote login because um, usually you would just be doing it from the server as well as the application would. So there's not a lot of reason to um, log in remotely. Although there could be, and you know, they would probably say that in the prereq or whatever to make sure remote login is enabled. And um, you can run that script again to re-enable that. Remove test database access, yes. Reload privileges, yes. And that is it with SQL. Now we need to install PHP. Okay, yum install php php dash mysql minus y. Now there are other packages or scripts to install with PHP depending on what application you're installing. And basically you can just go back and run the same command. And right here where the php dash mysql, right there is where they'll go. You'll see in the instructions it'll have install php space and then it will have all these scripts or packages separated um, not by comma or anything just by space and it will install those scripts if it needs them so it'll be in the instructions and so don't be surprised if you see that but this will ins install basic PHP and, and the MySQL portion of it as well okay so now that that's installed um, if you watched our other video you'll know that we installed the alternative text editor called Nano we're going to use that to create a script in the web directory, the HTML directory, that will show us what version of PHP that we're running and that it's up and running and what modules and things are installed. So you're going to type nano space var just like that. And then the command that or, or the little script that you're going to create is just like that. Oops, sorry, just like that. Okay, and then Control X to exit. Yes to save. Enter to write the file out. And now to make that active, you have to do service httpd restart. Once that starts up, we'll go ahead and bring our web browser back up. Okay, and you're going to tag on the end here, info.php. And there you go, shows your version and all the different modules and settings that are active. And PHP is ready to rock. That is it. This gets your LAMP server up and running. You can just type in reboot and then you're ready to go. You can go ahead and install something like OwnCloud or another application. Um, just follow the instructions for setting up the database. It'll tell you what to do and you'll need that root username and then the password you set. Um, what else did I want to tell you? There was, uh, I think that's it. Basically, if you like this video, just go ahead and give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And have a great day. Thank you.